The more we do these podcasts, the more I think I realize how different we are. What number is this? This is number six. Number six. I need to apologize in advance if I sound a bit off my game. Mm -hmm. I know normally I'm, you know, incredibly sharp and witty. You are. You are. I might be a bit. I might be a bit off because I haven't been having a lot of sleep lately. Mm -hmm. I have had issues. I am, as you know, currently in Berkeley, California. Yes. And I've been staying sort of in a, in a in a condo that I've like rented a room in. Mm -hmm. And I arrived the other night and it turns out there were some issues. Because what's going on is the guy who's like renting out this room, when he hasn't got paying customers like me, he allows these these couch surfers that stay for free. You know, this couch surfing yes, thing. Yes, I know people... couch surfing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a good thing. Anyway, he allows couch surfers to stay for free. Which, you know, isn't the nicest thing to know about when you're paying for the place. But anyway, what he does with his apartment when I'm not there is not my business. Mm -hmm. But the problem was, when I arrived, this couch surfer person was still there. And he didn't know the couch surfer was still going to be there. And this particular woman, who I would describe as eccentric, uh -huh. owns three cats. Ah. And she had the cats staying in the place. Ah. Now I, I'm I am not anti cat, but this woman was out a lot and her cats were not particularly controllable. She certainly had no control over them. And there were three of them in this tiny place and there's you know so there's a cat litter tray in the kitchen and food everywhere and hair everywhere and cats everywhere. So you know, I was telling the landlord this probably wasn't ideal and uh -huh. and he, he was mortified. She was basically squatting. Uh -huh. By this point. So he sent people around, his friends, to try and get rid of her and she wouldn't go. And then she bunkered herself in the other room with her cats. And it was all very awkward. I'd imagine and so. Anyway, to cut to cut a long story to a medium length, <laughs> she, uh, she left eventually. Thank goodness. Took her cats. But the problem was, obviously, before she left, during this period where she was bunkered in the room, hiding from everything, the cats... Um, the cat's peed. The, the room where she was staying now smells unbearably bad. Really bad. Like, so I've shut it and locked it up and put, like, blankets at the bottom of the door to sort of se seal it perfectly. But uh. the, the, sm the smell is starting to escape. And in the middle of last night, about two in the morning, the smell finally th thoroughly permeated the room I'm sleeping in and... So bad that it woke me up. I have been kept awake all night by the smell of cat pee. And ah. I, come, I come to this podcast now a product of that lack of sleep and ordeal. I got to ask. I got to ask. Mm. Are you going to stay there? Well, I mean, you're, you're in, you're in uh, San Francisco for like a month, aren't you? Yeah, I, well, I'm the guy, The landlord's really nice. <laughs> I don't care how nice the landlord <laughs> is. That could not be more irrelevant, my friend. <laughs> the landlord's oh, really nice. <laughs> and the, the place is nice. And it's, and <laughs> yeah, keep telling me about how nice it is. I yeah. want to hear more. Tell me you it's, like the interior a, decorating. Is it to your taste? <laughs> right? It's, it's, it's perfectly great, except for the cat pee everywhere. What's the wrong with the, you? The location is excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Um, so I'm giving him a day or two to get a professional cleaner in. And also I'm really lazy and I don't want to repack and, um, you know, have to find a new place and move with all my bags and my kit. <laughs> Your reaction to this whole situation could not be more different from what my reaction would be. So, yeah, um, I know. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your cat pee troubles, but it seems like you're not doing a whole lot to extricate yourself from this situation now that because I say you don't want loud, to move your bags. <laughs> now, that I, now that I say it out loud, I see that it sounds silly. But from my perspective, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. leave it with me. Let's okay. do some follow-up from the last episode, <laughs> okay. which I believe was about, well, it was about all sorts of things as usual. It was about advertising, clutter in the house, funnily enough. Yes. There was a bit of bit of freebooting in there as well. Are yes. There any things, were there any things you... You were particularly keen to follow up. I've probably talked enough for now. <laughs> yes. Well, the first the first thing um, that I wanted to follow up is talking about reviews that we have gotten. I was checking this afternoon and I made a little uh, spreadsheet. For this episode, we actually have a bunch. What are the new countries or is it too long a list? I want uh, to see if you've been to any. In alphabetical order. 
They are uh, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Croatia, the Czech Republic, the Dominican Republic, France, Hong Kong, Hungary, Iceland, India, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malaysia, New Zealand, Portugal, Romania, Russia, Singapore, Slovakia, South Africa, South Korea, Spain, Taiwan, Thailand, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Yeah, they go through and, and uh, leave very nice reviews. Uh, mm. So, it, yeah, just very impressive, this whole bunch. But I was very happy to see that we had Iceland there. Iceland was yeah. the, the least populous of the bunch of, of countries that left reviews. They have 321,000 people, and we got a review from there. Uh, and I'm very, I was very happy to see that because uh, I actually went to Iceland for a trip with my wife a while back when we were newly married. And it was just one of my favorite trips that I ever took. The country was just beautiful. And we did a road trip that went around the whole exterior of the island. And it was just amazing. And if I'm ever fortunate enough to have the chance, I will totally love to go back to Iceland at some point. So did you go into the interior? No, we didn't go into the interior. That that I think might maybe uh, again, if I get to go again, we might do a trip sort of across the island going into the interior. I don't know. Have you been to Iceland? I have not. I really want to go. I'm, I've am i been reading a lot about it lately, too, because I've been reading all these chess books. And obviously the the Bobby Fischer, Boris Spassky sort of mm-hmm, game of the mm-hmm. century was, was held in Iceland. There seems to be, per capita, uh, an unusual amount of artistic creativity that comes from Iceland. So like, there, there are a lot of bands that are from Iceland that are unusually good. And uh, on Flickr, for example, it's a photography website. Some of the some of the most amazing photographers you're ever going to come across, they're all from Iceland, uh, partly because they have amazing things to photograph, but the technical quality of their photos are so great. Uh, and it just it comes up all the time. And I, I wonder if this is a byproduct of since they're so far north, you have a lot of time during the winter to try and, per, you know, perfect your craft. Uh, you know, you don't have a lot of uh, distractions. So I wonder if people are indoors, you know, working on and thinking about their own particular hobbies and, and creative pursuits, because it seems like an unusually creative comp- uh, country per capita. Anyway, um, so Iceland, I have a lot of positive feelings towards them. This episode of Hello Internet was brought to you by the Iceland Tourism <laughs> Commission. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a grey like correction to make. Oh, I, do you? I wouldn't normally do this, but I thought it would just appeal to you. In the previous episode i referred to a mr johnny fingers from the boomtown rats Mm -hmm. who i had met a few times at a japanese music festival Mm -hmm. and i referred to him i believe as an englishman Mm -hmm. he is of course and very obviously irish Hmm. that's bad Uh, brady i know that is bad uh especially someone you know irish heritage like myself so I apologize for this mistake. I realized it very soon afterwards. Thought maybe I'd get away with it. Someone did point it out on the Reddit. Mm-hmm, you got mm-hmm. apologies. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I'm glad you've corrected your error. I know. I, just, I thought you'd like that. You love that kind of stuff. I, I appreciate that you, you, you took the time to set the record straight. All right. You got another follow-up? I've got a couple here. Well, what do you, you have? Clutter yeah. in the house. Yeah, I thought I thought that was an interesting discussion we had last time. This was obviously the fact that you sort of despise objects and mm-hmm. trinkets and mm-hmm. items in the house. Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking at the time to myself, as the conversation unfolded, everything that was said just made you sound like this uber cool man of the future and this sort of high tech, amazing person and made me sound like some weird hoarding person who probably <laughs> walks around the streets with plastic bags full of junk. <laughs> and I found it very refreshing in the comments on the subreddit, which is obviously very, you know, skewed towards you because it's it's your subreddit. Mm-hmm. I thought this was going to sort of, this was going to be the tone of the conversation. Mm-hmm. And I found it very refreshing how many people thought you were the crazy one. What I would say to that is, yes, there, there was there was definitely a whole bunch of agreement uh Agreement with with you that I sound a little bit crazy, but I I still I still defend my position. Although I do want to say a, a couple of people, and I've, I've been doing this on the Twitter as well, were directing me toward uh, the minimalism section of Reddit. Uh, just to be clear, people, I'm not like a minimalist. I am more just a functionalist that I, I don't like objects that aren't doing something in in the house or serving some kind of purpose if you know if it's just if it's just there uh i don't know i, I don't like them i was i was complaining about it on twitter earlier and i was i was tweeting some pictures of 
some houses that were beautiful houses, but they're just filled with with pointless stuff, like a decorative horn on a table or um, like plants all over the place, especially fake plants all over the place. Like that I saw ki- that, that when you tweeted, no though, Gray. I saw that when you tweeted where you said, beautiful house, I can't believe how they've like, you know, ruined it with all the clutter. <laughs> yeah. So I went and had a look at the pictures. Uh-huh. And there wasn't that much stuff in it. Oh, no, no. I thought def- it was pretty Spartan. No, did you? Oh, okay. You know what? It's making me angry. Okay, so people, I'm going to put a link to this thing. I'm going to put a link to this thing. In I'm not the saying it was like all white walls. It did have stuff in it. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't. I was expecting it to be one of those, you know, TV show documentary house from hell up to the ceiling with rubbish. And it just had a few nice objects. I'm seriously thinking of withdrawing the uh, the invite that I've extended to you to come to my new place. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think you'll be able to handle it again. And I you, haven't even got that much stuff. Well, uh, well, you you forget. I, I was in your old house, and also hmm. you forget. I when I'm looking at these things, I'm judging them by the standard of would I want to live there. And so I don't. When I go into somebody else's home, I'm not thinking, oh God, look at all this person's stuff. Because I'm not in that mindset of of would I live in this person's house, but I'm visiting somebody else's house. It's it's totally different. So you're saying you wouldn't have lived in my house? I would. Well, not the way, you, not the way you had decorated it. No, I would not have lived in, in your house the way you would have decorated. I'm sorry to you and the misses, um, but no. If I lived there, I would decorate it totally differently. Um, but no, I'll put I'll put a, a link to this this place. So there, there's this. I think there's, our house our house is lovely. Your house is lovely. I'm not going to argue that. But it's a different question of would I decorate your house the way that it is decorated? I would not. Okay, anyway, people, I'm going to put a link in the description to the show that you can go look at. And it's the, the interior of a house, which I think is beautiful because I like the the uh, the textures. So I don't actually like empty white rooms uh, for various reasons that I don't like being in a place that is all white. So this house has like gorgeous mountain views and the walls are stone and the floor is wood and it's beautiful. Um, but I'm just looking in these pictures and they just have like a dead tree branch that's acting as ornament in one location. <laughs> there's there's this twisted horn on a table that serves absolutely no purpose. There's gross, just it fake reflects pla- the, plants that It reflects that do the nothing. outside and the heritage of the place. It's oh, in a forest. God, no. They have this horrible like crystal lamp that just ruins absolutely everything. Mm. Um, I'm not saying the place was to my taste. It wasn't. I just don't think, I just wouldn't have described it as cluttered. I, I'm not saying it's cluttered. I'm just saying that they, they they ruin it with all of their stuff. Oh, and in the bathroom here, oh, this is the worst. There's like just a chunk of amethyst randomly <laughs> on on the counter and like a little, I don't know, a cactus or something, something horrible. And it's like, why don't you just have that beautiful countertop clean? Just don't don't put something totally pointless on there. Ah, oh, it's just it's infuriating to me. Oh, but it's you don't so mind you don't plants. mind like like the stone walls though, and all the wood, even though that comes from nature and it's dirty. No, I, th- maybe, I think maybe I think... a cow pooed on that stone once and things like that. <laughs> I assume that it is clean. But no, I, the reason I the reason I picked this house out in particular is because I love the look of the dark stone walls and I love the look of the wood textures. I, I just think, just like oh, you don't you don't need all these fake plants. You don't need a ram's horn on the table. Uh, you, you don't need all of this junk on your lighting fixtures. Like, ah, uh, uh, it's just hideous. Like the things that they put there. So anyway, that's, that maybe that's enough about this. 